talk about the video? You know what video? I, never, I, I ain't gonna say nothing. Nah, I'm talking about oh, oh. Oh, Red Bully. Yeah, oh, yeah we, we dropping Red Bully because uh, that's the intro to it. So we dropping the video for that. And it's like we say, it's gonna lead into the project. It's just setting that tone. And that's why, I, like I say, all the artists that we got on that raw. Even Queen Lil Bit, she raw. Um, so it's like that Red Bully feeling like we humble. But it's like y'all, the people that we thinking that's up there that we in the rooms with, they, they work ethic not there. So we just gonna bully them and take it over. And even though the, the female's really not trying to go there, but yeah. little, she could take them over. Janet G could take it over. Queen Lil B could take it over. It's just, all right, we gonna have that work to prove it. The results, killing with success, pretty much. Thanks. All right, let me ask y'all this, because we seven months into the year already. This year done flew by quick. Like, what's some goals y'all have to end out the year? Um, my goal is just is to um, get the project done. Like, that's that's my mm -hmm. number one goal, just to, you feel me? Because, like, I already got, we got a couple of songs on that done, so you feel me? I just want to get the project out, you feel me? Like, I ain't, I ain't said no, like, no no other goals. Usually I set my goals, like, in advance. Like, I know I want to drop EPs down the line, but, like, I'm really just, Gun whole focus on this project. Like right now, I don't want to work with nobody. I don't want to talk. I don't want to come to your club. Mm -hmm. Like I don't want to do nothing. I just want to get my project done. Yeah. And so my goal is just to hit the studio. That's it right now. See, mine different. I got a lot. Yeah, <laughs> see, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Now, um, obviously, yeah, getting a project yeah. done, uh, kind of creating a movement with that in itself, um, pushing the support for the women's rights. Uh, the support for the east side and south side to really show that we can do what we do um, and, and shine a light on those artists that we said the female artists. Um, outside of that, uh, I got my own project that I'm going to drop, but it's going to have multiple artists on it. That's going to be called Mr. Dreamer, just to play on my name, but an, an introduction to myself because I've been dropping music, but it's like, right, I'm going to give y'all a full project. Why? These my friends, these my people, this is what we do. But it's all gonna be cold, so it gotta be done right. Um, I kinda wanna end the year with that, to uh, set the moves to going into next year, uh, and not let up on them. Just keep it going. Like last time I was here, I, well, that was uh, around February when I dropped them two EPs. Yeah. Uh, got Think a couple features one on in between. Valentine's Day. Yeah. yeah. Uh, got a couple features in between. Like I just dropped the song probably two weeks before, a week before, no, like two weeks before I, we dropped Red yeah, Bully with yeah. this artist, Esme the Entertainer, she she, she, she got it. Uh, we just dropped a video with that. That's on already at 4K in like two weeks on so my page. That's explicit joint. Yeah, 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 see? Yeah. So he know, he no, made me he feel know, good. He know, he know. <laughs> so um, everything slowly uh, on the incline, so I just don't want to let up. Yeah. Hey, since we on camera, can I add to my goal real quick? Because I do actually man. got one. <laughs> so you can I, look I got back one more. on it and say I you accomplished shoot, it. I want to shoot four videos before the yeah. Boy. Okay. That's wow. it. I want to shoot four videos. Now you got to you got to shoot the four videos. <laughs> yeah. Now you I got I got at least shoot three of them. There you I, go. You feel me? But you I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna try to get all four. Yeah, at least now. try to make that shit happen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I feel like a lot of artists, like y'all say, they they not consistent, and that that go around the board with people outside of the music industry. And the only way to make an imprint in this world is to stay consistent, mm -hmm. regardless. Like, even on those days you don't want to do nothing, you better do one thing. Mm -hmm. You better figure mm -hmm. something out. Yeah. Now, Kilo, you've been here before, so, you know, I ain't going to ask you this question. I'm going to figure <laughs> out another question right, to ask right, you. Right. Now, bro, if you can go back and give your younger self any advice, what would it be? Pay attention. Uh, really just pay attention, you feel me? Because I feel like a lot of stuff, like, as a kid, even though like living where I lived and coming up, I was still naive to a lot of stuff. Like you feel me? It's a lot of stuff I just didn't get until I got put in um in humbling humbling situations or messed up situations just to keep it a buck. So a lot of stuff I just didn't understand or I didn't pay really bad. Like when I went to school, I really didn't. I've always been super book smart, but I didn't want other people to realize I was book smart and stuff like that. Yeah. Like so, you feel me? So I, so I dumbed myself down like being a kid, you feel me? Just really wish I would have focused in school and stuff like that and really just paid attention and absorbed the knowledge around me because 
I could have probably been way more. I could have, I've been rapping. I could have been did this. Like, I've been to a lot of the rappers in the city. Like, you know, I wish I would have really just realized my full potential when I was younger. Yeah. I mean, to, to, to piggyback off that, uh, the major thing that Red Bully pretty much is emphasizing is really stepping into your greatness. Like, if you putting that work in and you doing all that and you actually are growing and doing things, step into that. So it's like a lot of artists, like how we saying, they like, I'm doing this, but I need somebody or I need that recognition or I need somebody's approval based on their name and what they do. If you got that shit, you got that shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's showing, you getting results, step into that. Step into that greatness. Based off what he was saying, like he already knew he had it, but he didn't do it. Once you step into it, that's a whole different way that you work, you think, everything. All right, now, this is my question for you. Love yeah. Remix, you know, you've been in a lot of rooms, like you say, with a lot of important people, and you've been doing it. You've had a lot of opportunities come your way. Yeah. I would say, what is the, the biggest piece of advice you've taken from these opportunities or a person that you've met? Mm-hmm. I say um, most recently, because I can't remember all of them, <laughs> but... Um, the, the the people that we work with at the staff at Drake Elementary, shout out to Miss Sheena Jones, the dean up there. Uh, we've been working closely with her. Um, one thing that she really been pushing on me was that you got help. And like I'm the person, like I'm independent. I'm if I'm gonna get, it, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it on my own. I'm gonna make it happen. But that tires you out. It, you get over exhausted. You know what I'm saying? Mentally, you need a break. But then your break may be too long. You know what I'm saying? Two weeks, but you could have been doing stuff. But when you got people to rely on that are actually helping you and supporting you, benefiting you, fall back on them. Not like let them do it, but let them help and add on. And I don't let them do that because I'll be like, all right, I'm trying to work. I'm trying to get this done. I don't really know what y'all on, but I'm on this. So I kind of X them out when really it can help me. Uh, and not just them, but like just all around the board. It could be the person that you don't even think of that can help you. Um, so shout out to Miss Sheena Jones. That's that's the major thing. Just falling back. You got help using. She gave you a gem, bro. That's <laughs> a gem for real. Yeah. All right. Before we get out of here, y'all got anything y'all else y'all want to touch on? Man, uh, you got something you want to say, bro? Man, yeah. Follow us on Instagram, man. Big Chop <laughs> underscore two two three. You know, that's me. That's Kilo the Dream. When you feel me, follow J two man. Oh, you feel yeah. me? J two. I just got to say, um, pretty much a summary of it, like, we coming to take this over. Whoever get offended by it, come at us in any type of way. You know, musically, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't like that. We trying, to, we trying to make good music. We trying to work. But we coming for everything. It don't matter the name or none of that. And um, on a nicer note, we support the women and what they going through right now um, as far as um, they rights, we supporting them, um, and that's pretty much it. Look out for our new EP, our project that's about to drop, Go Stream Red Bully, and a video coming soon. Fight, <laughs> big fight. Man, I already do two two people interviews. This this yeah. this got to be my third two person interview. But every time it happened, it always be something special. You feel yeah. me? And I, I feel like a, a broken record because I always say when people sit on that couch, <laughs> yeah. it's something special happening. Yeah, know that, no, that's why I had yeah. to come back. Like that's yeah. why I worked with you, and I I wanted to come back here. Uh, I call it a press tour, like going to different spots and stuff. But I kind of like doing them with new people. But at the same time. Them people that I do mess with is like, nah, I gotta go back there. You know what I'm saying? Because it was making all me genuine. A crap, bro. <laughs> and that's what I was yeah. gonna say. Um, you feel me? Before we end, like, bro, really building relationships. Because like we were saying earlier, like yeah. some of these relationships I've built, like, bro, they didn't took me places. Like, you feel yeah. me? They didn't really got the job done just knowing people. Like, bro, yeah. it's starting to get to the point where I ain't. I, I spend money with people, but I ain't been spending no money lately. Like, I'm going to just yeah. keep it a buck because I'm here as one man. So it's, it's getting easier for me to walk in the room with relationships. people based off of my relationships. Like, even with the video, the interview that we had before, like, it's been so many people that I didn't even know was watching me or tuned in. It's like, yeah, we seen your interview. Yeah, this and that. So, yeah, you just doing the interview, but that is affecting everybody that's looking at me. So it's like, 
it played a role in my success. So it's only right that I come back and give you some content, give you whatever, uh, and just rock with you. So, Facts, man. Yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, anytime you go on your press run, I'm here, bro. You <laughs> yeah. know what I'm saying? Just just being considered one of those people that like, man, I got to go sit with Jay. That's, that's yeah. special. Because yeah. I, I started this podcast just on some random shit, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And speaking on, on like some of your uh, advice to your younger self, like I, I used to rock with people that always tell me like they, they was considered my homies, but they'd be like, nah, bro, you can't do that shit. Yeah. Well, that yeah. shit, that shit weak, you know what I'm saying? When I actually did do it, I'm like, bro, it was always the little sneaky comments to yeah. when, when Jay was doing some shit. But when Jay was helping everybody, it was all good, you right. know what I'm saying? Helping right. everybody do their thing. So I appreciate both of y'all for coming through and then for you even saying, like, bro, I got to come back and chop yeah. it up with Jay. That, yeah. that, that, that mean a lot to me, bro. Hey, Jay, you going to get tired of me. Y'all got one more thing <laughs> do you, to say. Man. You just <laughs> bought the flyers back, right? Uh -huh. So I remember being a shorty on the block. Right? I remember I gave my CDs to these dudes, right? They threw my shit on the porch, right? I went farther and rapped in all them niggas. Hey, hustling and flow, Jim. I went farther and rapped in all them niggas. Yeah. That's how it go, bro. <laughs> Put that work in, man. So once again, man, I want to say I appreciate both of y'all for sliding through, chopping it up with me. Thank you for having me. Man, no yeah. problem, man. Anytime, anytime. Yeah. Uh, this has been another episode of Conversations with Jay. Oh, God. All right.